What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Living in Truth. I'm Aaron Brooks. Glad to have you here with us today. Looking forward to getting into today's topic. I want to go ahead and do this a little bit different one more time because I want to jump first things first, handy dandy Bible app. Let's go there. Get going. Galatians chapter six. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. For if each will have to bear his own load. Let the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked, for whatever one sows, that he will also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the Spirit will reap from the Spirit eternal life. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So then, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to everyone, especially to those who are in the household of faith. I woke up this morning and it literally was the first thing on my mind. There's the first, I mean, just woke up earlier than normal by like two hours and I'm just laying in bed and I'm like, okay, that's the only thing on my mind. I'm like, well, it's, <laughs> I know what I'm talking about today. Don't give up. It's so easy to get worn down, to get tired, to get beat down. Don't give up. If God has called you to something, don't quit. Sometimes it feels like you're just, look, I'm out here working. I'm putting in everything that I have and it's not enough. It's not good enough. It doesn't measure up. Nobody respects me. Nobody appreciates what I'm doing. Nobody, you know, whatever. You feel that way ever? I mean, I have in the past. But don't give up. Don't give up. Remember, so when, when Paul is writing to the church uh, in the Galatians, this is what he's saying. <laughs> if somebody messes up, go to them in a spirit of gentleness. Don't be toxic, bro. Go to them and like pick them up. Like, all right, come on, dude, you can't do that. You know better. Come on, let's fix it. Or... Let's just not do that again, whatever the case may be. But you can't do it. Don't be toxic. There's enough negative in the world that we, the church, we, the children of God, we need to come together, care for one another, and build one another up. It says to bear one another's burdens. What does that mean? It means if you got to struggle you got to be able to come and share it with me and know that it stays with me and I'm going to pray about it with you or I'm going to be there to whatever your goal is, whatever the burden on you is in that moment, I'm going to be there to walk with you through it. Okay? Whatever, whatever that looks like. Then when it comes to uh, not growing weary, talks about sowing. So do you know what sowing is? It's not like with a needle and thread. This is when you are planting seeds. 
and reaping is whenever the harvest would come and they would go and they would they would bring in whatever they had planted and had grown and then they would go out and they would get to have their food or whatever they had planted. So when you go and everything that you invest in is here to get me more money, here to get me more stuff, here to get me more what I want, what Aaron wants, or in your case, whatever you want. If everything I invest in is selfish and is just for me, then I'm going to become corrupt. Because my flesh, my heart, my sinful nature is at the core of who I am and at the core of who you are. The struggle is to fight against that guy every day. So don't let yourself get caught up in the trap of keeping up with somebody next door. Oh, my neighbor just got a new car. I got to go get a new car. Oh, my friend at school just got some new Jordans. I got to go get some new Jordans. Oh, whatever it may be. Don't get caught up in chasing those things that only fulfill me here. But if I can invest and I can take the time and I can spend time in God's word and I can invest in the spiritual man inside of me. All right, so if I'm going to the gym and I'm working out all the time and I'm just lifting heavy, I'm getting big, all I'm doing is constantly just lifting to get big. But I don't support myself with a diet what good does that do? If I don't take it, if I don't take in enough protein, if all I do is eat ice cream and donuts and I don't pay attention to getting enough vitamins into my body, all I'm doing is just breaking myself down. Trying to get bigger and I can't. Oh, I'm I'm eating 500 calories a day and going to the gym like crazy. Why can't I gain weight? <laughs> you know, kind of a thing. Um Our spiritual man needs that too. Like, God, where are you at? How come I can't hear you? Why aren't you here helping me? It's only been six months since I read that one verse in the Bible one time. So, you know, I should totally be ready to go. Meanwhile, your spirit man is just starving inside of you for the word of God and and the truth of God and the fellowship between the believers of one another to build one another up. It's good to have accountability. It's good to have accountability at the gym. It's good to have accountability at work. It's good to have accountability in spiritual matters. We've got to feed that guy so that we can be strong for one another, but we also have to know that we can lean on one another, which means if somebody comes to you and says, hey, I need you to pray with me about something and they can't share it with anybody else, but they come to you, they're coming to you in confidence that you'll keep that under wraps and that it'll stay between you, them, and God. They needed help and they trusted you enough. So don't betray that trust either. Be accountable for one another. Hold one another up. And in time, you keep feeding your spirit, man. He's going to start to get stronger. It's going to become easier to stay focused on the things of God. It's going to be easier to push through all of the hardships, all of the trouble, all of the drama, all of the nonsense that we have to deal with. Because you can keep your mind focused on the higher things, the spiritual matters. Okay? And then it says, don't grow weary in well-doing. Right? Because in due time, you will reap. Let us do good to everyone. especially to those in the household of faith. Let us do good to everybody, but especially our brothers and sisters in Christ. So for us as lit, we've got to be good to one another. If somebody comments, give them some, like, hey, look, if somebody submits a Mustard Seed Monday, give them some encouragement. Tell them how much it means to you to hear that story. If somebody puts a question in the comments below, Try to answer it. Give an opportunity. Like, hey, if you know something, if you already have the answer, don't be afraid to hold to 
to do that. If somebody asks for prayer, pray. And say, hey, just wanted you to know, I was praying for you today. If somebody is like, oh yeah, hey, I've got an aunt or an uncle who is sick. Can you pray for them? i got a son or a daughter who's sick. Can you pray for them? And then you come back a week later, you haven't heard anything, but you've prayed. Message that person and be like, hey, I've been praying for you. How's God working in this situation for you? Holds them accountable, holds you accountable, and lets them know that they're loved and cared for together as the body of Christ. Simple things. You don't have to do crazy stuff. You can do easy stuff. Everybody is looking, this is a tangent, (laughs) but everybody is looking to be part of something, but nobody is willing to be the one to make the call to put something together. Everybody's sitting at home alone, wishing somebody would call and say, hey, let's go do this. Hey, let's go get lunch. Hey, let's go play basketball. Hey, let's go to whatever. But nobody wants to be the one to pick up the phone and call somebody else or text somebody else. We got to do that for one another. The simple things. Let's do the easy things. Let's enjoy each other's company and spending time together. And let's hold each other accountable on the spiritual things because if you're my friend and we're we're close like that, it makes it easier. And being able to to carry on for one another absolutely we can do more together than we could by ourselves so don't give up if you've gotten tired in the past if you've put that effort in in the past and people have taken it for granted and so you just kind of got worn out and had to quit okay fine i understand that but paul is writing here and saying don't get tired of doing good stuff we need one another all the time So do good to one another. And if you've given up before, give it another shot. Please, we need it for sure. So let's come together as the lit community. And let's do stuff for one another. Let's check on one another. Let's be about one another outside of just the two times a week when we're doing the video. Let's make sure that we know that we love one another. Tell somebody. If you love them, if you care for them, let them know. Whether that's words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, physical touch, which is almost impossible right now. You know, like any of these uh, gifts, whatever way that you show your love to people, let them know. Even if it's just, hey man, you're on my mind today. You don't know what a difference that may make to somebody today. So I encourage you. Get out there and keep doing good. You guys are awesome. I'm so glad that you're here. I love that you're part of what we're doing and you're right at the center of what we're doing because you're why we're doing it. The main thing is the main thing. Jesus first, always. But we've got to be brothers and sisters. We've got to come together so that we can do more. And that way, when I have a bad day and I have bad days, I need to be able to come to y'all guys and be like, look, I'm struggling today and know that you're going to come at me with this approach of gentleness and take care of me. Like, I'm not saying, oh, it's okay, baby me. No, if I make a mistake, call me out, but do it in the right way. If your friend makes a mistake, call him out, but do it in the right way. Do it in the right spirit, the spirit of love. Come at him. Come together. I love you guys. I hope you will, for us, like this video. Get in the comment section. Let's light that thing up. More so than just the live chat. I appreciate that for those that are here during the premiere times. But get in the comment section. Let's light it up. Let's let the world know that we love Jesus and we love one another and that we're here for one another. All right? So thank you guys very much. Get your questions in. Submit your Mustard Seed Monday. Don't forget to do that. It really does make a difference. The stories you guys tell of what God's doing in your life are encouragement. So hashtag MSM. Follow us on Instagram. Be there. Join in. Let's make this the best place to be part of the family of God. Let's make this as much like Jesus as we can. All right? I love you guys. 
very, very much. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Until next time, we'll see you. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Big news coming your way soon. You won't want to miss it out. We've got a big change coming up in the not too distant future. I'm not going to tell you about it in this video, but stay tuned and you'll find out soon. Exciting things are happening. Let's get it.